everybody, welcome back to Mode Bespoke. I'm Atenas. Today's tutorial is all about giant granny squares. So this is an oversized baby blanket that we will be making today. So let's get started. Here are the materials we'll be using for this blanket. The free pattern along with the materials list is available on my blog. The link is in the description box below. You can also pause the video if you need another minute. So here's the finished blanket. This is what it's going to look like. It's got these beautiful puff stitches going across in the form of an X. And then the work itself for this blanket is really very easy. It's just a bunch of double crochets and puff stitches. That's all there is to this project. So I'll show you how to do both of them. We're going to start in this middle part and work our way around. It starts with eight puff stitches inside of a magic circle. And in between the puff stitches, we just make double crochets. The double crochets is where we're going to do all of our increases to make our blanket a nice big flat blanket. So I'll make the first several rows with you guys so you see how to work this pattern. And all you have to do is just increase in every row. It's all it is. It's a very simple project. It's very easy to do and any beginner will be able to, to complete this project as well. As you can see, we're just doing a few rows in each color. And then for the top of the blanket, it's just a series of single crochets for the border, which got a little cut off here, but the border is all, oh, here you can see it better. This is all single crochets. So we're gonna do five single crochets in the corner. And then once we get to the top, we're gonna just do three in every row. So the first row of our border is five and then three. Everything else is just one simple uh, single crochet. So like I said, it's an easy beginner friendly project. So let's start with just our yarn. Uh, I'm just going to use this. Just uh, This one is Karen Simply Soft, the one that I'm going to use for this tutorial. The one I used for my blanket is the Pound of Love and it's by uh, Lion Brand. So here's the label. I used two skeins but I didn't use the whole skein, so I'm just making a baby blanket and I wanted it to be bigger. So I used half a skein of the denim and half a skein of white. So if you use the full skeins, you'll have a slightly bigger blanket. It's not going to be huge, but it will be uh, maybe an oversized toddler blanket. So here's the information on that yarn in case you don't live in the US and you don't have access to it. But if you want more information on it, feel free to leave me a comment down below or email me or something and I can get you more information if you need it. But we're just going to start with the first color. So I'm just going to use this teal because it's the color that I have handy. So I'm going to use an H hook and that is a five millimeter hook. So we're going to begin with a magic circle. So wrap the yarn around two fingers and then pinch where you get the two fingers together. Insert your hook into the loop between your fingers and grab some yarn and pull that through. Hold it down with your index finger and remove your other fingers. See, you've got a loop. So you're going to pinch that loop. There you go. Get into your crochet, like hand pose, whatever you want to call it. And we're going to start to chain. So yarn over and pull through the loop on your hook. So we're going to chain one and then we're going to chain two. There you go. And now we can release the loop that we're holding, the, the one that we're pinching. And see, there's our magic circle. When you crochet into a magic circle, make sure you go through both of the threads that you see here on top. We're going to start with a puff stitch. So yarn over, hold that yarn down with your index finger, go into the center of the circle, go under the two, both threads, okay? Yarn over and pull up your loop. Now yarn over again go into the loop or into the circle, yarn over and pull up another loop. So see, we've got five loops right now. We're going to do it again. Yarn over, go into the loop, yarn over, pull up a loop. We're doing this a four, total of four times. All right. So we've got three last time yarn over, go into the loop. Here you go. Yarn over again and pull up a loop. We're going to have nine loops on our hook when we are done. So we did a puff stitch, which consists of four yarn over repeats. Okay. So we'll do it again. Don't worry. Now we're going to yarn over one more time 
and pull it through all nine loops, like so. Now chain one, there we go, and we've closed our stitch. So that is the puff stitch we'll be using. Now chain one, and we're gonna do the puff stitch all over again. So let's do it again. We're going to work inside the magic circle. So yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop for one. Yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, that's two. Yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop for three. Yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop for four. Now we have nine loops on our hook, so we're going to yarn over and pull through all nine loops. Chain one, and we finished a puff stitch. So we're gonna chain one more, and we're gonna do this again. So you need a total of nine, I'm sorry, nine, eight puff stitches. So it's a total of eight puff stitches inside your magic circle. If you need to go over how to do a puff stitch again, go back to the beginning where we first made with the first puff stitch that we made and just practice a little bit so that you get really comfortable with puff stitches because we're going to be making a lot of them. So there we go, puff stitch number three and then chain one and just repeat. So something I wanted to show you is if this thread is running a little short, this extra thread coming out from the inside of the magic circle, just give it a bit of a pull because you need to have both of these threads in order to close your magic circle later. So here we are. I've already made eight puff stitches. So here we are, all eight. I did my chain one. That's my extra chain one that you need. And now that thread that we pulled just a minute ago, we're gonna pull it nice and tight to close our magic circle. That's gonna tighten our work up. So there we go. And now we're going to close our round. So look for the top stitch of your magic circle, which is this one. See, if you just kind of move it around a bit, you'll be able to see it. You're gonna insert your hook into that stitch. So the top of the first puff stitch you did. Yarn over and pull that through that stitch like so. Now we're gonna slip stitch. So pull this top loop through the bottom loop like so, that's a slip stitch. That's how you're gonna close your round every time. And let's begin our next row. We're gonna work in these chain spaces between our puff stitch. So here's the chain space. That's where we're gonna be working. So to start, we're gonna begin with the chain two. The chain two does count as a stitch. So it counts, keep that in mind. This first little chain space, we're gonna make puff stitch. So yarn over. Insert our hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, and we're going to do that a total of four times. So there we go. Now we just close our puff stitch, so we yarn over, pull through all nine loops, and chain. There's our first puff stitch. Now we need to chain two. So here's one, and then two. And in that same stitch we just worked into, in that same chain space where that first puff stitch is, we're gonna make a second puff stitch. So all of this is in the same stitch, all right? So here's our second puff stitch. So there's one, two, three, and four. So there's our puff stitch. Yarn over, pull through on line loops, and chain one to close our stitch. So we're gonna do that in every corner of our blanket. So every single corner gets the same thing. All right, so we're gonna go into the double crochet part. So in the next chain space, between the next two puff stitches, we're gonna make a double crochet. So yarn over, insert your hook into that chain space, just into the space, not into the stitch. Yarn over and pull your hook back out. You're gonna have three loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through two loops, so there's one, and two, and then we yarn over and pull through the remaining two loops on our hook. That is a double crochet. We're gonna make three double crochets, so a total of three, so we need two more. So yarn over, insert into the stitch, yarn over, there we go, three loops. We're gonna yarn over and pull through two loops, and then we'll yarn over and pull through the remaining two loops on our hook. That is our second double crochet, 
We need a total of three, so let's make our last one. So yarn over, insert our hook into the stitch, yarn over, pull up our loop, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. And now we have three double crochets. I didn't pull through the whole stitch, but now there we go. All right, now we have to make another corner. So for the corner, we have to do the puff stitch, chain two, puff stitch. So we just repeat what we did in the very first chain space. So in that chain space, in the next one, we're gonna make our first puff stitch. So there we go, and we have to pull through all nine loops, and then plus our chain one. So there's our first puff stitch. Now we chain two. So there's one, two. And now we make a second puff stitch in that same chain space. So that's two, three, and four. There we go, that is four. Pull through all of those, chain one, and there's our corner. In the next chain space, we're gonna make three double crochets, just like we did over here. So right in this chain space, we're gonna make our first double crochet, our second double crochet, and our third double crochet. And now we're ready to move on to the next corner. So go into the next chain space right over here between our puff stitches, and we're gonna make another corner. So we're gonna puff stitch one, so just make your very first puff stitch. There we go. And then we chain two, and we make a second puff stitch in that same chain space. I'm moving a little bit quicker on these puff stitches because I assume that by now you've maybe practiced it a little. If you need to see how to do them again, go to the beginning of the video. If you still don't quite understand how to make one, just shoot me an email or leave it down in the comment section and I'll go through it with you again. So we're gonna go into the next chain space, which I think is kind of small. I don't think I left much of a chain space there. But in that chain space, we're gonna make three double crochets. Now we have the last corner, so we go into the next chain space, and we're going to do the puff stitch, chain two, puff stitch. And then we'll close off the rest of our round. So right over here I'll work my last corner. So there's that first puff stitch of the corner. So I'll finish this stitch, there we go, now we chain two and we make our second puff stitch. So the rest of our work, will we'll be repeating the same puff stitch pattern in every corner. So the two puff stitch chain and the chain two in between them. So I'll move through those pretty quickly so we can make this tutorial a little bit shorter. All right, so in this very last chain space, before we get to the chain, it's gonna be a little different because remember the chain does count as a stitch we only used three double crochets in all of our other sides, so we need to make it match. So we're gonna make two double crochets. So don't make three, we're just gonna make two. That chain space will count as the third double crochet. So we'll just start with the first one, and then we'll make the second one. So there we go, two double crochets, and now we have to close our round. So go to the very top of the chain, so right here where the puff stitch is. If it's easier for you, just go to the top of the puff stitch and then make your slip stitch. If not, you can go to the stitch right next to it, which is normally what I do. So I go to the stitch right next to the puff stitch, at least once I've, I'm on the second and third round, like so. Pull up your loop and then just slip stitch. So pull that first loop through your second loop and our first um, round of the pattern is done. So now for the next round, we're going to start with a chain two. So you always start with a chain two and we're going to work in this space between the double crochet and the puff stitch. So see this little chain? So it counts as our double crochet. We're going to work in that little, it's a little gap. It's not quite a chain space. So it's that little space between the double crochet and the puff stitch. We're going to make two double crochets in that same space. So there's our first one, and see that space again? 
right in there we will make a second double crochet. These are our increases. So we're going to do this in every round in the same places. So there we go. Now we're in the corner, so we're in our puff stitch. So inside that puff stitch, we're just going to continue this pattern. So right in that chain space, that chain two, we're going to make a puff stitch followed by a chain two, followed by a puff stitch. See, it's going to continue this way. So we're going to do this in every single one of the rounds and it's going to create this beautiful design that is what gives this granny square that look. So this is the main part of the pattern. So always in this corner, puff stitch, chain two, puff stitch. So here's the first one. There we go. So there is our puff stitch and now we chain two and we make our second puff stitch right in that same little corner stitch. So once we're done with this one, we have to make another increase. So we're increasing on either side of our puff stitch corner, okay? So look for your chain, gap space, chain space. It's the space between the puff stitch and your first double crochet. And make two double crochets. So there's the first double crochet, and in that same space, we're going to make a second double crochet. Now, we're going to go into the second double crochet, so skip this very first one. So we're going to skip here and go into the second one. So go into the stitch for the second one. The only time we'll work this is when we get to the very last uh, chain space, and I'll show you what I mean. So go to the second double crochet, go into that stitch, and you're going to make a double crochet in that stitch. So there we go. We made a double crochet on the second double crochet. And now we're going to make a double crochet in this next stitch. So go into that one. So yarn over and double crochet. Like so. And now we're back at this space right here, this little gap space. So we're going to work two double crochets into that space. So that's our increase. So there's one and then two and we're at the corner again. So here's our puff stitch corner. So we're going to puff stitch, chain two, and then puff stitch. So I'll try to work through these a little bit more quickly just to move along on the and the pattern. So we've got chain two. And that's because the important part of this pattern is always not just your puff stitches, I and mean, we make really nice puff stitches, but it's always those increases that are going to make your blanket nice and square. Alright, so now that we've finished the corner, here's that little space between the puff stitch and our first double crochet. So right in there, we're gonna make two double crochets. All right, now we're going to go into the second double crochet. So here's double crochet number two. And we're going to make a double crochet in that stitch. So right above that, make your double crochet. We'll make a double crochet in the next stitch. And we're going to make an increase in that gap space. I'm just a bit hesitant to call it a chain space because it, there's really no chain in between those two stitches. So I don't want to mislead anybody here. All right, so now we're at the corner again. So let's work our corner stitching. And this starts to get really, really easy by the end of this row. So you'll have the hang of it, no problem. All right, so our double, second puff stitch. And we are moving right along because this is a very quick work blanket. All right, now here's that little space where we need to make an increase again. So we'll make another increase and that's a two double crochet increase. Go into that second double crochet and make a double crochet. And then make a double crochet in the next stitch. And we're back to that little gap space. So let's work an increase into that gap space. 
and we're going to make the last corner and then I will show you what I mean with that first double crochet because every time you work your round you're going to need to add a stitch um, because that very last section that very last side or the first side that we started on will be uneven it'll have an uneven stitch count if you don't make that extra stitch so let me finish this buff stitch and I'll show you what I mean because you can't uh, if you skip this stitch it'll it'll start to make your square kind of shift all right so so this side gets a little tricky so since the chain space it does count as a stitch it will have more stitches on this side than on the other sides but if you don't have that it kind of changes the look a bit so here if we count these we have six stitches so we have six double crochets and then when we turn it back to the side that we're going to be at we're going to end up with seven but if we don't have those seven I've, I've tried this blanket a few times and it just it kind of throws everything off and it shifts your square in the center as you can see in the, the blue one that i did it's kind of weird so we're gonna have to work into that very first double crochet so this side will have seven but they're gonna be very tightly knit double crochets so we're gonna start with our increase so we'll start with our two. Oh, i did that wrong let me fix this so there we go there's our second double crochet all right now in this row only we're going to work into that first double crochet so shift your little increase over and find the stitch above the first double crochet and you're going to work into that stitch like so and you're going to work into the next stitch yeah i have no idea why it works out this way on this particular pattern but you kind of have to make that extra stitch all right so now go to the top of your chain or to the second double crochet so the one after the chain and then you're going to find the stitch that's right above it so this stitch right over here this is where we're going to make our slip stitch to close our round so there we go oh, let me pull this a little bit higher and now we'll pull back a bit so you can see so see now our sides will be even I know the stitch count is weird but it works out I don't ask me why uh, the only time I've noticed it's a little bit different is if you use a chunky yarn so if you use a chunky yarn you don't need to do that extra stitch you could just keep the six but we're gonna move on to the next row and we're just gonna repeat so in every single one of these little gap spaces right here between the puff stitch and the first double crochet you are always going to increase so there's always two double crochets and then two double crochets on the other side and then your puff stitch corner and then increase double crochet in every one of the stitches increase and so forth and so on all the way around over and over and over again until you make the blanket as big as you want it so even if you want to make it like an adult size blanket uh, this giant granny square blanket as an adult blanket is awesome I've made it for a wedding gift before and it's super cool anyway so just remember that when you get to the top row so the one that is where you began to close your round you're gonna have to add that extra stitch so don't forget that extra stitch every time so here I'm going to switch colors now so what I did for my pattern is I made five rows in each color so count five of the puff stitch corners and then I switch colors so if I were to continue with that pattern I would start with my chain two like I normally would and then just keep working the pattern so double crochet in here and then the increase corner so forth and so on but let's switch colors so we can get this uh, tutorial moved along so let's get our second color leave a nice long tail because we're gonna have to weave that in later and we're going to pull that through so loop it through the loop that you had on your hook and now we have switched colors so at this point I'm gonna use both of my threads to make my first chain one so there's my first chain one and now I'm going to pull on all the threads so pull on the blue one pull the white one make sure it's all nice and tight and then chain two so you can either pull on everything now or you can pull on everything after you finish your chain two whatever you want just make sure that everything is nice and tight so pull on all of these threads and we're going to cut this here so just grab a pair of scissors and cut it since this is all scrap yarn I'm just I'm not going to cut it because I'm going to use this again for another tutorial but cut your blue thread there and now we're going to start to crochet with our white thread so 
we're going to skip that first stitch. This one right here. We're going into the next stitch. So right in there, we're going to insert our hook and we're going to start with our first double crochet. And now we're at that gap space. So now we make our increase. And now we're at the corner. So we're going to work our puff stitch corner. So you'll notice with every round that you'll have to do more double crochets when you first start the row because your blanket is getting bigger. So don't uh, don't get frightened if you see that you now have to make like, you know, three or four double crochets before you get to that gap space. That's the way it's supposed to be. That's okay. All right, so there is our puff stitch corner. I just have to make my chain one to finish my puff stitch and we need to increase. So here's that gap space between our puff stitch and our double crochet. So we're going to make two double crochets. And then there's two. And now we're going to work a double crochet in every one of these double crochets of the row until we get to the next increase. So I will double crochet into this stitch. And then we're going to double crochet into the next stitch. And double crochet into the next stitch. So we just have two more here, so we just keep double crocheting. There's the last one. And now we're at the increase. So here's that little space. So now we increase. So there's one and our second one. There we go. And now we're at the corner. So let's do our puff stitch, chain two, puff stitch. So there's that. And now we go chain two. And now we puff stitch again. And there we go. So now we need to go into that gap space right here and make another increase. And then we double crochet in every stitch of the row. We're going to increase again, do our puff stitch, and just continue until we get to the other side. So I'm just going to make a double crochet in every double crochet here, and I will finish the rest of the round and I'll see you when we get there. All right, so I'm back here at the beginning. Here's that really weird increase again. So we have to make our increase. So make your two double crochets. All right, now remember that we have to add that extra stitch, all right? So push your stitching aside and go into that very first uh, double crochet. And we're gonna make that extra double crochet in here. So in essence, you're gonna end up with three of them in this little area. And now we're gonna double crochet one into each one until we finish the round. So we're gonna do this in every single row, all right? So here we go. And do this other one right here. And there we are. We've made it all the way around. So go to the next, the second uh, double crochet of the row. Just go into the stitch above it and slip stitch your round closed. And that's really all there is to this pattern. Just always remember to do your increases on either side and every time you go around and do that, the funky side that has like the three double crochets. Just do that over and over until you make the blanket as big as you want it. And now we're going to work on the border. So the border is just a series of single crochets. The only difference is on the very first row, we're going to make five single crochets to make a really nice little corner here where the puff stitches are. And then in the row after that, we're just going to work single crochets until we get to the corner. And then we do three single crochets. And then we make a single crochet in every stitch after that. So this will give us a nice clean little corner and that'll help us finish our blanket. So to do that, we're just going to assume that I have made, we're just going to pretend, I guess, that we have made this a giant blanket and we're now doing the edging, all right? So for this first row, 
I think I'm just going to switch colors to make it easier. So I'm just going to switch this way because since everything is attached. If I were to have um, the other, like if I had cut my thread, just leave a nice a long edge of thread and then do the same as I did in the last color stitch. So chain one with both threads of yarn. And now go into the next stitch. So we're going to start to single crochet. So just go into the very next stitch right next to where you began. So right, right next to your chain one. And then just start to single crochet. So insert your hook into the stitch. Yarn over, pull that through. You'll have two loops on your hook. So you yarn over and pull through both loops. So I need to move my lighting a bit because it's not quite right. All right, so in this gap space, just go into the stitch and make one single crochet. We don't need to increase anymore in this little area. We're going to increase in the corners now. So we're in our first corner and we're going to chain five, or not chain five, single crochet, single crochet five. And then this is the only row we're doing this in. So if you're going to skip ahead because you're more advanced, only do it in this row. And then from here on out, you're going to do three double crochet or three single crochet in every corner. So there we go. We've rounded out our corner. It's nice and pretty. And now we can go into the stitch right next to it. So here's the puff stitch. Here's the stitch right next to it, which is where we used to make our increases. But now it only gets one single crochet. So single crochet all the way down. And I'll try to do this quickly. So here we go. And then here's the little puff stitch again. Just go into the stitch and single crochet. Ta-da! And we're at the corner again. And in the corner, we're going to make five single crochets. So there's one, two, three. If I can do these right. There we go. Three, four, and five. And we just continue single crochet and then five in the corners until you get all the way around. And here we are again. We've made it all the way around. So don't work into this stitch right next to it. It's really small. So see, you're going to have a hard time getting your hook in there. Yeah, don't make a single crochet in there. Just skip that stitch. You're going to skip the very first stitch that you made. So your chain one, you're going to skip that and go into the next stitch so the very first single crochet of the round so we're going to slip stitch into the first single crochet of the round and our row is done so now this next row is the same thing you're going to do for all your other uh, rounds so you start with your chain one and you're going to go into your next stitch and just single crochet all the way to the corner this is where it's if you're going to move quickly it's helpful if you have a stitch marker so see how we have four, you're going to see four stitches. I know we made five, but you see only four available stitches. Pick one. I pick the second one normally, and that's where I'm going to put a stitch marker. So in the first stitch, I'm going to single crochet one. In the second stitch of the corner, right this one right there, I'm going to make three single crochets. So here's my first one. And then we make a second one in that same stitch and a third one in that same stitch. This is going to create the corner. Now grab a stitch marker and go into that middle stitch. So the second one that you made out of the three. You can use a safety pin if you want, a stitch marker. I use bobby pins. I have these really tiny little bobby pins. I like to use those as stitch markers. They're really easy. So that's what I use. So I'm going to put my little stitch marker there. And then I'm just going to single crochet one in every stitch. So I'm going to go all the way to the next corner. So I'll try to move along as quickly as I can. Okay, and once we get to the corner, we're going to see that we have four stitches. Again, remember we did make five, but you only have four available stitches that you can work into. So I'm going to get my stitch marker ready. I'm going to make one single crochet in the very first of the four corner stitches. So this guy right here, that one's going to get one single crochet. And in that second one, I'm going to make 
three single crochets. So there's one, there's two, and there's number three. I'm going to put my stitch marker in that middle one, so the second stitch. So I'll just find that one and put my little bobby pin in there. There we go. And now we single crochet all the way around. So I'm just going to single crochet in every stitch and just repeat the same thing in the remaining two corners of my work. So for the rest of the border, it's just a repetition of single crochets. As you can see here, I made a total of five uh, rounds and that was the border I wanted. You can make it as wide as you want, but what you're going to do after this, just finish your round, chain one, and when you get to your stitch marker, that one always gets three single crochets. Everything else just gets one single crochet. So go around, single crochet, single crochet, single crochet, until you get to your stitch marker, and then it's three single crochets, and so forth until you finish your border. And that's it, folks. I hope you've enjoyed this video tutorial. If you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave them down in the comment section below. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. I post videos every Thursday. For the written pattern for this work, go to my blog. The link is in the description below, as well as the link to my Instagram. So follow me on Instagram, where you can preview all of the projects we'll be working on here on Mode Bespoke YouTube. Thank you so, so much for watching. Don't forget to like and share the video. I will see you all again next Thursday.